See you later, Silicon Valley. I'm headed home. I just gave back the borrowed memory card, which means I'm stuck with this camera for the next little while. We are on our way to the Computer History Museum, and our glorious leader is driving. Thank you, Daniela, for this experience. It's been great. And for the first time in the past five days, she is speechless. <laughs> Let's do this. We may very well be the only ones here. Revolution, the first 2,000 years of computing. The Abacus. You know you're old when you see items that you've used as a child sitting in a museum. IBM said think, and that is why Apple said think different. These certainly do not look like computers of today. Well, except for that. That's obviously a computer of today. There's an app for that. I bet. But why look at a picture of something when you can look at the real thing? Wild. As I look at these artifacts, I sit here and think that I have more power in the palm of my hand right now than many of these machines have combined. They still develop in Fortran in some places. I feel like I'm in the middle of a sci-fi movie. <laughs> ah, memories. The 1990s. Storage options. Admit it, you want these in your house. These were large, but I've seen larger floppy diskettes. A lot of people might only remember the small, quote unquote, floppy diskettes. <laughs> yeah. I still have a few zip disks at home. What the heck is this? Fatina laser disc? That's a laser disc, yeah. But that size? Which is neither A laser disc player. Like that size? And yeah. Soft. Software deserves a place in this museum. I've always been more of a software guy than a hardware guy. Vax. Wow. That was my first internet account. <laughs> I mean, I used a Vax to be able to get online. Oops. That will accomplish the task. Much like a chef creating a recipe. It's almost never really simple. Don't copy that even floppy, even if it's blurry. Like Hang on. Data That's better. Computer world was on fire. Easy or hard. All programming problems. What's the best computer programming language to learn? All of them. I agree. Cray cray. The first PC, eh? Hmm. I'm almost older than Unix. Kitchen computers? They had a computer for everything. Computers certainly don't look like the way they used to. Those are the types of ads I remember growing up with. Do 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 do. Are you ready for the robot uprising? The story behind why we have a teapot in a computer history museum is that this teapot was actually extremely influential in computer graphics. He was wondering, what can I model? And so his wife suggested to him, why not use a teapot? And that sounds a little bit silly, right? But they will actually love the idea because the teapot's design was relatively simple. However, 
it also featured um, parts that were uh, useful in experimenting in 3D graphics at the time, specifically because the teapot was round and because it has a con concavity in its spout. What you see is what you get. WYSIWYG! In my entire life, I've seen only one other silicon graphics machine. Drawing with computers? <laughs> computers can do that? They're plotting against you. And to think, many people still use a mouse today. Video games used to bring me so much joy. I have the app for that, but not the app for that, because they don't have an app for that. In high school, over lunchtime with a friend, we used to build planets with Sim Earth. And one of my first network video games that I ever played was Doom 2. Have you played Atari today? This cartridge was all the rage, until we realized that it really wasn't worth getting raged over. Remember when? I think I still have my very first Nintendo Power Magazine. I mean, THE first Nintendo Power Magazine. Oh, I need another player. That was one of the very first Macs I ever used. And my world was filled with clones. I have Waz's autograph too. Not on an Apple One, though. Schools were lucky to have one of these for the entire school district. It belongs in a museum. I had a Palm Pilot, a 5, and a 7. There's a Palm 7. That antenna allowed you to get online. This shot is for Diana. Not just because we met thanks to the iPhone, but, well, take a guess. I remember the internet without a graphical web browser. Or Google, which is kind of hard to believe. Could you imagine life without the internet? I still have my Pets.com sock puppet. <laughs> I kind of wish they'd bring back Apple HyperCard. It was kind of fun. This is the Google self-driving car that I am sitting in, and there is no steering wheel. I was recognized not once, but twice by two different people in this museum. Go figure. It's kind of like flies to honey. All the nerds come here. I was happy to meet them. Once again, I have Lufthansa to thank for this entire experience. It kind of looks like he's staring at the burger, doesn't it? I'm getting kind of hungry, too. I feel like I'm starting to get sick. That is a great gate number. If only it were in more Weird Al Yankovic songs. Remember these?
I'm pretty sure I'm getting sick, Pixie. She saw a black car pull out of not our neighbor's garage, but the other one, and she thought it was you, and she started crying, Dad, Dad. Yeah. She thought oh, you were leaving. No, I'm not leaving. I'm here. Daddy brought you a souvenir. Yeah. Or two. Those are playing cards. Because Daddy's not Mama. sure what you like. Bear. There's another one for you. It's from the Computer History Museum. You can't play with cards yet, but I figured I'd start you out with a few decks. Mm, these are for Mommy. Oh, those are cool. Thank you, baby. Facebook socks. <laughs> That's awesome. Here's something else for you. <laughs> Normally, this is for sports ball, but Mama. this one says, Geek Territory. <laughs> I also got Mommy a Mercedes-Benz gum package. Oh. <laughs> and I got Mommy some Lick Observatory socks. Mm, those are cool. And I got Jedi some Lick Observatory socks. Oh, cute. They're space socks with constellations on them. But I'm not done. Any guesses as to what's in my hand for mommy? Um, I feel like it's black. <gasps> Ooh, cool. Facebook nail polish. Really? <laughs> is that the official? That is cool. That's mommy's nail polish. Oh, she's got a little stack over there for things. Oh, here, you gonna put your socks over there? And last but not least, Jedi, a very collectible rubber ducky from Lufthansa. Thank you. Thanks for taking a second right now to tap the like button before you watch our next story and for interacting with us across social every day. Your support is always appreciated, and if you'd like for us to keep sharing our daily story with you, we hope you pledge on geekfamilyfun.com. You'll get even more of what you love from us. Advanced screenings, behind the scenes, and most importantly, you'll ensure that we can keep doing this for you. See you tomorrow!